We found him. Who? Oh, the missing link. Proof of human rodent copulation. It's Michael Alonso, the guy that skewered your kidnapper under the pier. This is clearly not the Cineman. Clearly not, since I'm pretty sure that no one with that name actually exists. He had motive, no alibi, and oh yeah, he confessed under interrogation. He's our guy. Well, then he must be working for the Cineman. You're not going to drag me into whatever new weird drama this is. And could you please stop saying cinema? Cinema? Big Nina Simone fan? Well, actually, what? I am. But I was nothing. just saying to the nothing detective. Nothing, nothing. Are you hiding something from me, detective? No. I don't care. I was just asking. New case came in. You're up. Thank you. Why did you just stop me telling the new lieutenant we're on the cusp of the greatest case of our lives? Because the sinner man is an urban myth. He doesn't exist. He's a boogeyman that criminals use to hide their bad behavior. Oh, the sinner man made me do it. Yet another thing he's stolen from me, being blamed for the bad deeds of men. Oh. He can keep that one, actually. So the idea of telling our new boss, uh, who I'm just starting to get a rhythm with, that you want to arrest the Easter Bunny doesn't really thrill me. I have no intention of arresting anyone. I want to grab him by his neck and see what happens when I squeeze hard enough. If you can bring me any tiny bit of evidence that this sinner man actually exists, I will be the first to look into it. But until then, consider this case closed and let's focus on this case, please. Okay. Danielle? The guy's name is J.D. Woodstock. He lived right around the corner. Neighbors said he was pretty quiet, unemployed, but we found this on him. Huh. So what are these, jokes? Charitable description, detective. Avocado, how about avocado don't? Would it be rude to throw tomatoes at a corpse? Looks like he was a struggling comedian, trying to figure out if he performed anywhere. What do you do? Make fun of the wrong person? Get in a fight with an audience member? It's worth exploring, at least. You know, there are a lot of insult comics out there, and not everybody enjoys being mocked. Mm. We should listen to Daniel, actually. He's got a unique insight into this case. What's he talking about? Well, they're kindred spirits. A fellow broken soul who puts the most embarrassing parts of his life on display for his audience for an easy laugh. He does stand-up. I do improv. They're completely different things. Oh. Improv is all about yes and. Stand up? Well, that's about telling I, jokes. I regret starting this entire conversation. Wait, excuse me, Dan. You do improv? How did I not know that, and how did he? Well, it's a funny story, actually. Actually, it's because I, I don't tell a lot of people. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Ella. How's it going? What'd you find? Well, no murder weapon, but I did find three shell casings, running ballistics on them now. But based on the firing pattern, I think this dude was tortured before he finally died. Oh, huh. Well, congratulations, Mr. Woodstock. At least someone cared enough about your jokes to... Did you say Woodstock? As in J.D. Woodstock? Yeah. Why, you know him? Yeah, he made big news a couple days ago claiming Bobby Lowe stole his jokes. There was Bobby Lowe, a rival comedian who hates himself so much he stole this dribble. Uh, no. Open your eyes, pal. Yeah, J.D. claimed that Bobby's show was based on his own material and that he could prove it. Which is impossible because Bobby Lowe's show is all about his life. Well, so you're saying that this giant-headed buffoon stole our poor victim's ideas, his life's work, and built a business out of it? Mm. So now he's a poor victim. Look, I know you don't believe me, detective, but I happen to be going through something quite similar. So if I can't get my own justice, I'm going to get it for this poor, unfunny soul. Well, I certainly did want you to focus on this case, but be careful what you wish for. At least the lieutenant isn't here. You know, if you keep saying crazy things around him, who knows what he might do. Right. What have I ever cared about that, Detective? Uh, it's true. <laughs> Let's look at this, Detective. Snake. Snake.